Hey guys, it's Lizzie here from Westpac Fitness and I've put together just a little routine for our over 65s. So you can do it yourself if you want to with a heavier weight or you can just keep to a very, very light weight. So it's just really focus on a bit of mobility and some strength and a little bit of cardio, okay? A lot of it is going to be done in the chair. So I have my chair here. I also have a couple of different things. I have just my bottles of water, okay? I even have some cans of beans as well, okay? And what I've done as well, I've taken off the end of my sweeping brush. So I'm going to use that to help me with my balance, okay? So first thing, the first thing I've done is put my on on me. And guys, we have a great offer on the Myzone. So just check out the West Park Fitness app and check out the Myzone there so you can buy a Myzone online. So awesome, well done to the guys for organizing that for us. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of mobility. Now I'm gonna be standing up doing this and I'm gonna be sitting, sitting down doing this. So I'm sitting down, my feet are flat on the floor, my tummy is nice and tight, my hands are like so, and I'm just mobilizing. That's it, just a little bit of mobility again. This can be done standing up. And if you're standing up, knees are soft, tummy are nice and tight. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this about 10, 20 times, okay? From there, hands drop down, we start out with a bit of shoulder mobility. Bring them up, shoulder. Now you can go as fast or you can go as slow as we want, as you want to. So we're gonna do about 10 to 20 of these, going backwards. And as we get to the, towards the end, we feel a little bit looser, we can make that a little bit bigger. Then from there, we go forwards. It's a little bit awkward going forwards. So just keep the tummy in nice and tight. So you're trying to sit up nice and tall. Once again, this can also be done standing up. Four, three, two, and one. From there, we're gonna to come to the side, then to the opposite side. Twist and twist. Bring our eye gaze from side to side. And as we're turning, try and turn through your chest a little bit more. Keep the tummy in nice and tight. And you can start to feel it walking your tummy. Side to side. Just nice and easy. Make sure the shoulders don't pop up. Keep the shoulders down. And if you're standing up, you can be here. You can even be here if this is you today. Give me four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to work on the ankle. So just bring one leg out and just rotate through the ankle. Just go one way and then we go the opposite way. And you can even point and flex that foot. Just point and flex. Then chain sides, opposite leg. And you might find one side is easier to do than the other, that's okay. But every time we're sitting down, just hold down, lift the chest, and then we go to the opposite side. And then we're pointing and we're flexing again. And again, we're trying to do maybe 10 to 20 reps of everything that we're doing. Well done. Feet on the floor. Now you can just walk the feet out and walk the feet in. Out, out, in, in. Just tap the toes as you do so. And then we change sides. Now again, if you want to do this standing up, this is the movement, just standing up. You're just walking forward and back, forward and back. Four, three, and again, roughly around 20 reps on each one. Now our next movement, try and bring both feet out, both feet in, both feet out, and just go as far as you can. Keep the tummy in nice and tight. Out and in, out and in. Then we're gonna take it side to side. One and two, one and two. Now, if that's too hard, you can just do a single leg and then just alternate them. We go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, or two legs together. 
you can make that a little bit bigger if you can. But if you can't, just keep the knees low. We have four more, four, we have three, we have two, and we have one. Well done, feet on the floor. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get you to lift one leg up, hold it, squeeze the thigh and come down, then the opposite leg, lift, hold and squeeze, and lower down. Lift up, hold and squeeze, and lower down, change size. Lift up, hold and squeeze, and lower down. Go again, lift up, hold and squeeze, and lower down. Lift up, hold and squeeze, and lower down. And keep lifting up, hold and squeeze. Just feel it in the front of your thigh. Hold and squeeze, and lower down. Go again, hold and squeeze, lower down, hold and squeeze, lower down. And again, maybe 10 to 20 reps on each leg, just depending on how you're feeling. You could start off with 10 of everything I do, and then every second day, you can do the exercise, and you can just build on that. You can always just start off slow, and then just build on, up the intensity as you can. One more. Feet are down. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up. So keep your hands here, and sorry, before we get up, we're gonna move our feet out further, so, and take the feet apart, so we have good support and stability here. Take your hands down onto the chair, and sit up for me, stand up for me. Then what I'm going, you're gonna do is, you know the chair is right behind you, reach back and sit down. Push your heels into the floor, and stand up. You know the chair is there, reach back and sit down. Push your heels into the floor and stand up, and then we sit back down again. Now, as we're coming up, drive your heels into the floor and try and squeeze your bum as you come to the top, and then back down. So this might feel a bit more comfortable now, and you know your chair is there behind you, okay? Now, if you still feel a bit unsure, I've taken the end of the brush, sweet brush off this, so I'm going to keep this out in front of me, and then I'm going to use this to stand up and sit down. Now try not to lean onto the handle. Try and use your legs to bring you up and down. Okay, and then we can add on, you can come up here, from here, hands here. You can lift the heels off the floor and back down. Lift the heels off the floor and back down. Lift the heels off the floor and back down. And just squeeze your calves at the top of the movement and back down. Now, if you're finding this, this difficult standing up doing this, you can always be seated and just lift the heels up and down off the floor. That's it, and just try and squeeze it. Four more. Three, two, and one. So let's try and put them two movements together. Hold on to the pole in front, lift, stand up, lift the heels, Put the heels down, sit down. Stand up, lift the heels, put the heels down, take a seat. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And if the thighs, the front of the legs are starting to burn a little bit, that's okay. Two, three, and four. So you do as many reps as you can, and you can take a break whenever you can, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and advance that just a little bit more if we can. You're gonna hold this out. Now when you hold the pole out, pull your shoulder blades back, lift your chest. So the pole is just really chest level. Tummy in nice and tight, let's do it slowly. Stand up, sit down. So we all know the chair hasn't moved, and if you want to be extra safe, ooh, don't do that. <laughs> if you want to be extra safe, push the chair against the wall so you know the chair cannot move. Push your heels into the floor, lift up. Now we're going to add on the calf raise. Stand up, lift the heels, put the heels down. Well done. Stand up, lift the heels, put your heels down, take a seat. One, two, three, and four. Now the upper body has to work really hard here as well. 
stand up, lift, down, again, one, two, three, and four, let's do it again, one, two, three, and four, just give me three more, three, well done, give me two more, two, and give me one more, one, two, three, and four, well done, so I'm going to put that down. Okay, so I'm going to focus a little bit on the back of the leg. So I'm going to just take one of my bottles of water, or you can do with smaller bottles of water, or you've got, I've got cans of beans here and all, so just to get into a little bit of the hamstrings. So I'll pick up my bottle of water, okay? I stand with my feet hip distance apart, pull my tummy in nice and tight, shoulders up, back and down, and squeeze your shoulder blades and lift your chest. I just hinge forward from the hip, just keeping a little bend on my knees. Look down towards the floor, bring the bottle of water towards the floor and back up again. Come forward. Now you notice this bottle of water is going all the way down to the ground. That's because it's a very large bottle of water and it's the way that I'm holding it. But if you were using a smaller bottle of water, you may be just coming just below your knees back up. So it depends on your flexibility as well, okay? Come down and up so, so from the side. Keep everything up straight, tummy in, come down just below the knee and back up. Come forward and back up. So start to feel it in the back of the legs and into the bum. So when, we, when we're down here, push your heels into the floor and squeeze your bum to bring you back up. Forward and back. Now you can even use two bottles of water, it doesn't matter what size they are, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, four more, three more, two more, and just one more. Well done. Take waist down, and take a seat. So we're gonna move a little bit into the upper body now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some press-ups. I hear you say press-ups, but watch this. So I'm just gonna move my step out of the way. I'm gonna to have to turn that back to you here, okay? Take the feet apart, step away from the door. Bring your hands nice and wide, lower your chest down and up. Come down and up down and up. Bring your chest forward. So the movement is hands on the door, lean in and then push yourself away. Lean in and push yourself away. Lean in and push yourself away. If I was to do it off the chair, bring my hands out to the side and just come forward and back. Forward and back. Keep your elbows nice and wide as you go down. Forward and back. Four. Three. Now remember, you can do it anywhere. Two. Just one more. One. Well done. So we're going to move onto the back of the body a little bit again. So again, you can take your your can of beans, you can take whatever you, whatever you have, if you have a little weight, try and place some one hand and one knee on, on the chair, just so that you sort of lean against. Take the can here, pull back, that's it. One and two. But just check out my back, it's nice and flat. One and two. One and two. If that's too hard to get your knee up, Place one hand on the chair, pull in and back. Keep the elbow in really, really tight. And then from there, chain sides. So you see, you have a couple of different options to choose from. And again, maybe start off with 10 repetitions each side. And then you can slowly build them up into higher repetitions. Four, three, two and one. 
going back down the other side. Back to two cans of beans here now. So all I'm going to do is, you can sit back fully onto the chair, okay? Tummy in nice and tight. So the back of the chair gives you support. Now from here, have a little bend on your elbows. Bring your elbows in line with the shoulders and back down. One, two. One, two. And two. So drop the shoulders down, lift the chest, push out with your elbows, not your hands. Push out and in. Now, if that feels a little bit diff too difficult, try bending your elbows to a 90 degree angle. And then just push out with the elbows. Keep the hands in line with your elbows. Again, starting off with about 10 reps. Just give me two more. Two and one. Then hands down, turn your palms towards me, bicep curl, up and down. Now remember guys, if you're well able to stand and do this, there's no harm in standing up and doing them all. But just remember when you're standing up, always keep your knees soft and keep your tummy nice and tight. That's it. Just curl in, lower down. Curl and lower. Curl and lower down. Curl. Four more. Four and three. Just two more. And one more. Well done. Okay, we're going to work on the back of the arm. So I'm going to turn the chair back around again. So it's something like the row that we did earlier on. So keep one hand here, elbow up, kick back. And in, back, and in. So I'm gonna come here a little bit more so you can see. Straighten your arm out and come in. Straighten your arm out and come in. Straighten your arm out and come in. Again, maybe start off with 10 reps and you can build up on that. And make sure you change to the opposite side. Straighten your arm out and in. So you wanna really feel this on the back of the tricep. And if you want to do it, you can always sit down and do this move where you come slightly forward and you can do the move sitting down. So if you're not great on your feet, that's okay. Because we can do every ex most majority of the exercises sitting down anyway. Four, three, just two more, two, and one. Well done. So, that's the end of the workout for today. So we've got a good few things to work on. So what I would suggest, where you can, and um, maybe go for a walk around the house or out the back garden, but just try and keep as mobile as you can. These kind of exercises, you know, do them every second day, maybe every second day. You no, know, it's no harm to do all that mobility work every single day, okay? But we can do do the exercises every second day. My email address is lizzie, L-I-Z-Z-I-E, -Z -Z at westpark.ie, or you can find us on Facebook or whatever. And if you need anything, um, if you need more workouts or help more plans, or if you have a bit of equipment, you can just email me directly and sure can send you a little video of what to do. Stay safe, guys, and we miss you all, and we hope to see you really, really soon.